Okay, so here is my school dashboard. You notice I scroll down and um, here are my unpublished courses because I haven't published any of my courses yet because we don't start school till the 17th. So if you notice, um, this one right here is my sandbox course. So this is where I created everything the first time. Um, and I've got my fun little bitmoji. I've got my home button. Um, I linked that to this one with days of the week. I was just kind of messing around. I'm not sure if I'm doing days of the week or if I'm going to do um, by subject. So I've got a couple pages created that I can just swap out. This should say email. but um, And if that ever happens, if you just refresh, it usually comes back. It's not detrimental or gone for good. But anyway, so let me look and see. Um, all right, so I think... Yes. So if you do a copy to, so like if you're in your sandbox course, I'm going to click on this. Um, yes. So you do a copy to. I'm not going to go all the way through it because I've already made changes to my other one, but you're going to select the course you want to copy it to. I selected my homeroom um, course because my district put other things, um, put district activities and lessons in my ELA course, my math course, my science, and my social studies. So I did it to my homeroom because there was nothing loaded from the district there. Okay. So once you choose the one you want, um, you're going to put it into that class. So you might want to double check, make sure your district hasn't put anything in that homeroom one because I think it overrides everything. So you want to be careful. So I'm going to click out of that. So again, sandbox course, three dots. Uh, copy to, and then select your course you want to copy it to. I copied mine to my homeroom. Okay, um, cancel. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to show you guys one other thing that I did. And again, I don't know how your district works, but what I did, so this is my homeroom course now, right? So this is my sandbox. It's not published. No one will see it. Um, but this is the one that my students will be able to see. And so what I spent time doing today is, if you notice, this is kind of just like a, a welcome page. I may change this after the first week because I have like a little intro video here. And then I've got these buttons. So if you click on my daily lessons button, it takes you to my subjects. Okay, so I did my subjects this time. I, this was that one that was broken in the other thing, but here's my link to my email. And this was really neat. I, I just got it from our school website. I copied the link that was a, a generating your an email to your teacher kind of thing. And I linked it to that button. Um, and so, yeah, so, all right, let me show you this real quick. So when I click on my subject buttons, I linked it to what the district had created for me in my class buttons. Now, there was a bunch of other template stuff here that they wanted us to use, and um, we could fill it in with certain things. I just deleted everything but this enter here button. So when they click enter here for our district, they this is what the district provided. These are the lessons, okay? So now here's the last little thing that I did that was tricky because when I clicked on this home button, it took them back to the home district page that they created that I was supposed to edit. Well, I just, in edit mode, I changed this link and look where it goes. It goes back to my page. So fun, so amazing. Um, so I did that for each subject and um, linked them all. This morning meeting is just a page that I created meet the teacher zoom bookshelf these are all just pages i've created that are in my canvas pages but yeah all of these subject ones go out into the district pages and the lessons they've created for us and then again i linked the home page instead to their home i linked it to my home so everything they need is all in this nice little place and like that first welcome page they don't really need to get to it once they see it. Oh, my! I've got 22 seconds, so I'm going to try to finish up. If I need to do another one, I will. But I'm happy to help, and I just, you know, that's what I'm here for. I figured this out today. Again, this might not work for everybody, but I hope this helps. If you have questions, friend me, reach out, and I can help you.